Okay, I am here to share a flip through of my 2021 journal. I'm ju just going to consider it done at this point. Um, last year was not a consistent year of journaling for me. I did not have a dated journal, so that probably contributed to it because when I have a dated journal, I obviously feel a bit more obligated to um, sort of work through it. Whereas when I have just sort of like a free journal, I don't journal in order. I just flip to whatever page I feel like. And even if there's memory journaling where it's like, you know, connected to an event or date, um, it will be all mixed up. So last year was just sort of crazy and that's just how it turned out. Um, so this journal is actually a Webster's Pages uh, bullet journal and it came inside a cover that I bought. Um, that's why I have it um, and it I used it before for sort of like random journaling. Um, so there's just a mix of stuff in it and it has like a very light um, greenish sort of dot grid um, of the pages. Uh, obviously this is made for bullet journaling. I would not really recommend it if you use a lot of ephemera or bulk up your journals because it the spine just won't hold up. I mean, it's not broken broken. Everything is still contained in here. It's just that um, it's too fat. So it made like this sort of front part just break apart. Um, the pages themselves are still sewn and glued together. So um, it's not like I'm gonna lose pages. There's just this unsightly part, um, which, you know, I can try to tape back together. Um, I tried with washi tape, but it wasn't strong enough. And, but at this point, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, so let me just do a quick flip through to share. Um, let's see. First, I have a quote card and it says, we must not allow other people's limited perceptions to define us by Virginia Satir. And I made this one myself. It, um, I think I used to like post them on Patreon. And this is a postcard from kiroku.de, I believe. It's from um, a shop in Germany, a stationery shop in Germany. And I just used some washi tapes and stickers. Um, and this opening page, I believe I created um, a while ago. So I don't even know if it was in 2021 or before, um, but I might've changed things because I also have the tendency to like slap some stuff on a page and then if I come back to it later and I don't like it then I might change it or add to it or like you know um, edit pages basically but this is just a page about the love of coffee um, because I had so much like coffee like stickers and washi tape and just random things um, this is like some old packing paper um, washi tapes here and this back here is a printable paper um, the pictures are from Pinterest actually, and some stickers and stuff. Um, and then these were little sort of like stamp stickers from Flow Magazine, I believe. And I decided to make it into a spread that um, lists sort of all the countries that I've been to. Um, and here's a quote by J.R.R. Tolkien, little by little one travels far. And this memo page is actually uh, from La Dolce Vita. She does like, um, is it a she? <laughs> um, they do um, illustrations and you'll probably recognize like there's so many like um, illustrations of characters like in this style. So here is a sort of journal page with a poem by Langston Hughes. Um, and it says, I no longer recognize you just sort of during that time when there was a lot of turmoil in the US government and and really still, right, like in the world and everything. And it says, the poem, um, I'm so tired of waiting, aren't you, for the world to become good and beautiful and kind. Let us take a knife and cut the world in two and see what worms are eating at the rind. Um, and I think this was, it used to be here because I did like the whole world cut, like literal um, representation there, but then I, I might have changed it afterwards and put some washi tape. This is another La Dolce Vita sticker. Um, this background is actually because I had a really thick sticker, like chipboard sticker here before, but it was so thick it was like bothering me, and so I ripped it off to use it elsewhere. Um, but it left like, you know, that craft texture, and you can see it's, it's this kind of like chipboard sticker from like the scrapbooking world that you can buy. It's just so thick. Um, like I like them and then I don't like them at the same time. It's it's like a love-hate kind of thing because it bulks up your journal so much. Um, here is a fortune cookie. 
Um, in Italian, it says tutto è possibile, basta crederci. It means um, everything is possible, you just need to believe it. Uh, and I often print out like things that I see on Instagram that I like or on the internet or somewhere and put them in my journal. So these are just stickers, printouts, washi tape and some journaling, um, more like printouts from Moxie Life about planning, progress, not perfection. And a lot of the little tidbits I have are f actually made from my daughter. She's six years old and she loves, you know, drawing and journaling and like making little booklets and things like that. And obviously maybe from seeing me and my journaling habit and and of course she loves stickers and all that kind of stuff just using supplies in general and I definitely do share my supplies with her like I try not to be too precious about it um, and because I, I think that we often hoard our supplies even though we're not even using all of them so like I, I just let her you know um, use what she wants but she often creates a lot of stuff for me specifically and like tells me to put it in my journal so I include it in and I really like it um, in the sense that I'm usually very like graphic-y and like you know use a trimmer and cut straight lines kind of thing um, but I really like the look when things are more organic or collaged um, or even people who do like art journaling like mixed media and painting and that kind of thing I'm not um, you know I like it but it doesn't come naturally to me um, so I don't do it very much but um, if you have kids definitely include their art and things that they make um, it's just really cute and even if you don't have kids maybe your nieces or nephews or your friends kids like um, you can just sort of grab those elements and put them in your journal because I think they they really add like such a different element and of course it's part of your life so it's representational um, so more pronouns and a lot of like sticker vomit if you want to call it that because sometimes they just feel like stickering so you'll get like a bunch of stickers from the same theme and just like put them all in here um, so these are more things that my daughter made me um, and she'll ask me to like stick it in my my book um, and she likes like drawing little she makes like her own blind bags if you're into that kind of thing like there's such a huge culture of people who love um, you know like when you buy a little thing and it has like 10 little baggies in it you have to open it every single one um, it has like tiny little accessories for like a tiny doll or something um, and I understand the psychology of it right because they say the more packages you have to open like it's it's um it, it brings you more you know joy if you want to say that um sort of like how they say if you want to boost your happiness a little bit if you order something instead of getting like 20 items in one giant box if you had 20 different boxes it like really changes it even though it's obviously bad for the environment um stickers so this is um a memo tape more about coffee um and so the reason why i made this sort of like mixed collage coffee thing and this is another la dolce vita um, sticker this is a chipboard sticker from the scrapbooking kit um, is because we went to like one of the bigger malls here in Italy and they had a Starbucks which funny enough it's called Siren Coffee but I guess it's because it's the the owner like the actual name of the owner of that shop even though they're licensing you know like the Starbucks brand um, but it was such a disappointment it's like super expensive for a Frappuccino and and it wasn't even that good so I was like ah it was just like the idea of wanting it um, and trying it but it really wasn't that great um, here I've got just random collages and stickers washi tape and these are printables from the stationery cafe stationery cafe is a podcast by um, April Phyllis and Kelly and they're on Instagram and I think um, I think April her her screen name is penguins creative um, she's also on twitch and um, you can listen to the podcast there's a patreon um, that I was supporting so I printed like the printables that they offered like month to month um, here's another just sort of random mix page of when we went to eat sushi one time and again this is not even dated so I don't even know exactly when it was but it was sometime in 2021 this is more artwork from my daughter um, that I included and this is something like my daughter made me but I just have a random quote here that says do something today that your future self will thank you for um, put a bunch of these tapes here because I had bought I believe a bunch of tapes 
and so I just wanted to sort of like sample them in here. Um, so this is another giant, um, how do you say, chipboard type of piece. Um, and I put a picture of myself in it. I think sometimes we do not include enough pictures of ourselves um, in our journals and things. I don't know, I, I, it doesn't come naturally me, natural to me to take um, selfies. Um, even though I know that there is sort of a culture of it, but I think sometimes we have to like force ourselves to remember to take pictures of ourselves. Otherwise we're documenting like everything else and not us. And I think it happens to moms a lot maybe because you're documenting your kids obviously more than, you know, necessarily the adults or yourself. Um, so this is when we're talking about our turtles in the garden and my son and he had like crazy hair when he woke up. Um, more things from my daughter that she gave me, um, her little craftiness and a lot of like, these are just washi tapes and like memo things. This is like a, a stationery store in online store in, um, Italy. And I often order stuff from just like random shops on Etsy or in Italy or Europe just to like, um, quote unquote, you know, like buy local. Um, this is, I think I was participating in the stationery stockpile challenge and so it's to use like your stickers um so i just got a whole bunch of stickers and went crazy and you know you can obviously theme it if you have a lot of stickers of one theme or it can just be random um but it seems sort of crazy but like it's so satisfying <laughs> to like finish a spread like this and you can use this as like like um placeholder in your journal or to transition from like one month to another month or something like that it's actually really cool like visually you know to be like oh flip to a page that just has like all of this um so i'm pretty sure this is like for june because these were the june printables for um a stationary cafe printable um and i included like this old tear off calendar piece and these are from this is from my daughter more tapes memo pages and like testing out some stamps. This is more from Stationery Cafe um, and lots of stickers and just like messy collage. It's not even really journaling. I mean, in the sense of like writing, um, it's much more just like play. And I did that a lot in 2021 as opposed to um, actual, you know, writing, writing. Um, and and it's because I have a different like morning pages and like writing writing journal um so this type of journal is more like just for fun memory keeping and like random ephemera um so this was like me swatching all the washi tapes that I got and stickers um so here's another s selfie that I sort of covered with vellum to not be like so in your face um but I was just reflecting on this thing of like how it's so normal now to use filters and sometimes like there are ones that are not like that drastic so it's sort of like if you don't want to put on makeup and it makes you look like you did take go through the time to put on makeup so it's not that drastic you still look like you um where sometimes some of them are just crazy you know what i mean like changing the shape of your face like all that kind of stuff not just like slightly touching up um so i don't know if it's good or bad because i think that um even though I don't do it that often and I don't I don't feel like I'm someone who takes selfies all the time or anything, but even just doing it a little, you start to like see yourself differently because you're like, oh, I should be, you know, looking a certain way, like touched up. And then when you see like the natural non-filter and you're like, whoa, that's like reality? Like what? Um, it's sort of jarring in that sense. And I think that I can understand like how crazy it must be to be like a teenager growing up in this time. Talk about confusing as if, you know, teenage times is not like more dif difficult enough, you know? Um, so those are my thoughts for that. And this is like more printable paper, um, chipboard, stickers. And so I started to stream on Twitch at some point in 2021, um, but I fell off when things were just getting crazy. So it's like sort of here or there. Um, definitely gonna try to get back on, but it's it's a little difficult because we're getting like to a lot of holidays and then the kids are home and I never stream when the kids are home. So it has to be when they're going to school. But in June, they're gonna finish school. So then it's gonna be summertime and I'm not gonna be 
usually I'm not alone in the house so like it's just really hard to stream like in the summer but hopefully at least like with the school year I will be able to get back to it at some point um oh this is when I bought myself a Super Mario Brothers tiny little game like the old school kind of I was really into gaming when I was a kid um and sort of lost it you know later on growing up and just not having a lot of time but I still very much like video games um and my kids like they really like Roblox and these are just random things that I printed out um made by my my daughter again um so we went to like a wine tasting thing and I kept this thing and journaled about it this is our fur baby Vosh the Stampede so I just made a page about him and this background here is printable paper and these are um, washi tape stickers and random collage of papers oh yeah as you can see I'm like really into the Dymo sticker tape label thingies I just love it so using that all over the place um, so here I was documenting like this the the mug that I got from the travel mug I got from the stationery cafe for being a patron and this is my shop on uh, red bubble with stickers uh, printable from online and a poem in Italian um, which what it basically translates to is you will be loved the day that you can show your weaknesses um, without the other having to um, affirm their force like over you you know something like that um, so um, like a piece of a poem so I just thought it was very cute and and wanted to include it in there um, and this is my vaccine thing so I finally got my vaccine so this was in July 2021 so um, it took a while but like we finally got our appointment um, because you know it, it depends on your age and like your um, if you you know have medical condition or something if you need it so it wasn't necessarily that easy to like get an appointment immediately everybody had to wait their turn so uh, my husband and I we were the last like technically of our family um, besides the kids um, to finally get the vaccine in July um, and so here's another quote thing that I designed for my patreon don't be like the rest of them darling Coco Chanel um, which by the way I um, obviously when we think about Chanel we think about all the designer brands and like um, like the designer brand and luxury goods and all that kind of stuff but like the person itself obviously she's questionable um, because of some of the things that um, she believed in or supported during her lifetime I sort of didn't know about that and it's one of those things where it always makes me think like can you separate uh, the fact that the global brand like Chanel today obviously you know generation after and different people and the company doing different things like can you still support the company and feel good about it or or because of her does that make you like go away from the brand because you didn't like her as a person I mean obviously it's a personal you know choice but it's the kind of thing where like I learned it about it afterwards I had no idea and now it just makes me like do sort of a double take whenever anything is like Chanel around so I don't know um, another selfie and this was um, we have a festival in our town that um, celebrates the Madonna um, and so they have these little thingies that you're supposed to write on them so I took one of them and um, put it in my journal you're supposed to write on them and they attach balloons to it and like um, let the balloons um, fly off into the air which I guess is not really great for the environment but that's like the um, tradition and this was for my birthday September 17th my birthday so finally did selfies with my hubby and this is when we went to visit this bar that we like in town um, some randomness from like an order of washi tapes that I got from Hong Kong so um, put it there another selfie now it seems like I have a million selfies because I keep putting them in my journal um, it says Siete molto ambiziosi, farete grande cosa. like you're very ambitious you're gonna do great things like I like how these fortune cookies are so like motivational sometimes they're not like that but when they are I like to keep them um, so this is a printable from oh what is it called it's a stationary subscription online by Amber I want to say oh my gosh I cannot I cannot think of the name um, but it's an online subscription like printable subscription um, that you can get 
and so that's what I had gotten it from. These chipboard stickers, um, more washi tape samples, and like printouts from Instagram, um, my Hobonichi um, drawer pouch. So it, they had it on sale on like Amazon Germany, so I had to like go for it. Um, more just like random things from magazines and printouts from Instagram. Um, a lot of things I see on Instagram, like, I really like it, so I just have to, like, this says, looking ahead and feeling behind, um, by this feels nice, and I wait, it says, I am complete but not yet finished, like, you know, just journaling about that, um, so my husband and I finally taking a couple photo, and some chocolate that I had that I wanted to, um, keep, and this is a little comic that my, my daughter made, so I had to include it in here, because she, like, made me buy it too and um so i had to um keep that um this is our doggy and stickers printouts from the stationery um cafe and more free printables this is a little memo sheet um and i got a twisby echo um like a really broad um tip with this ink so i just had to swatch it and more printables um lots of printables and memo sheets, printable papers. Um, this is another printable paper on my Patreon and I follow um, Miss Trenchcoat online and all of her like planning stuff so I wanted to put that in there. Another selfie. Now I feel like I have a million selfies. <laughs> um, more printables from Instagram um, that I wanted to keep. This is another printable but from someone else. Uh, oh. I just cannot remember the names of things. I'm really sorry. Um, I will have to go look them up um, to like remember um, because sometimes I'll see something online um, like free printables and I know that I'm going to use it at some point so I'll just print it out immediately and leave it aside um, and and you know when I get to it I use it so once it's all cut out if they don't have like a little watermark or something I might not completely remember where it's from. These are all La Dolce Vita stickers and I bought like a giant, you know, super mega pack or something. So I have like a million. It's crazy. I mean, I like them, but at the same time, then I realize like I have so many. Um, so finally have some pictures, um, that I added in just printing out of, um, cousins, brother, sister, um, more little notes that my, my, daughter has given me and printouts from Instagram and stuff. It says here, like, she, obviously we speak Italian, um, but we also speak English because I'm native speaking in English, but she will sometimes sound out stuff so that she, it's like, mommy, I love you. Um, so she's trying to say it in English, but she's like sort of sounding it out in Italian to write it. It's so funny. Um, so there's the Tartufo Festival in nearby in our town. Um, so documented going there, um, postcards, more of Alice's artwork, um, lots of her artwork here because this must have been like near Christmas time or something. Um, so I had just documented some of the things that we received and just randomness. Um, so here in Italy during Christmas time, everybody sort of like gives everybody like gift baskets and things like that um, in terms of like work. So like for sure your workplace will give you something and if you happen to be someone who works with like a lot of clients, you probably get like a lot of stuff. It's usually food. I mean not like huge stuff, but you know, gift baskety type of food things that you will receive. Um, here's more documentation about my doggy because we go on walks every day. And then you can see this is completely out of order. So I put like Christmas stuff here, but then this is fall. Um, oh, another page that's obviously winter theme, but all kinds of winter stuff but you see how like doesn't it just look cool to have like a completely stickered up page I really like it um, I should do it more often so they can use my stickers uh, especially when it comes to like the tiny tiny little pieces of stickers I really like sticker sheets but sometimes you know like you just have to force yourself to like use all the little tiny pieces because it just doesn't come naturally to be searching for like I want a tiny star you know um, so these are a good way to like use up all the stickers that you might have like left over on sheets and things. Um, this is a quote, creativity is a way of living life no matter what our, vo our vocation or how we earn our living by Madeline Lingle. Um, another thing that my daughter made me, this, this background is a printable background paper. These are also printable background papers from my um, Patreon, this is another doggy photo. 
my kid who's playing his Nintendo Switch and like in a weird position. Um, this um, was about drawing um, from I think one of the uppercase, yeah, uppercase magazines. It's probably an old one because I have so many. Um, and just like printouts that I like, more selfies. Now I assume like crazy with selfies. <laughs> I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Hafiz, with love from our home to yours, XOXO Susan David. So Susan David, I follow her on Instagram also because I um, read her book, Emotional Agility, um, which I think is very helpful if you wanna learn more about um, feelings and um, just sort of analyzing all of that kind of stuff from a psycho psychology perspective. Um, here it says, I don't do drugs, I am drugs, Salvador Dali, my Twillow story, so another Instagram print about, printout. Um, this is from Tracy Ellis Ross that she wrote, wisdom means to choose now that will make some sense later. I am learning every day to allow the space between where I am and where I want to be, to inspire me and not terrify me. So just really good quote. Um, what good shall I do today? And just things that I like, like if I see them in a magazine or something, I, you know, want to take them out and, and stick them in. So another giant sticker you can see, it's so thick but I just left it as it is because I didn't want to add more stuff and just picture of my daughter, more pictures of us. So this is Christmas time, obviously, um, and my daughter's artwork and more things that she made for us that obviously is bulky as well, but I include in here more my husband and I going out like pubbing, um, washi tapes and stickers. And I believe this is from Cute But Weird um, on on, you can probably find her on Instagram. She's an Italian illustrator. I hope I'm correct. Um, so if you're too tired to speak, sit next to me for I too am fluent in science. R. Arnold. I just really like that. Like how you can, you know, like being with someone and enjoying someone's time doesn't necessarily mean like loads of action, right? Like you can just be content because you're in each other's company. Um, so this is when we went to the beach for lunch, like our family um, together. And this likes, you can see I did date this one just to date the um, occasion. And um, this background paper is a printable from my Patreon. Um, more printables, I believe this printable is from my blog, so you can download it totally for free. Um, and more little stickers from my daughter, picture of my son, my daughter. Um, cannot remember the name of this. Oh, Yay Day Paper, that's it. Um, the subscription online, stationary subscription online of printables. It's called Yay Day Paper. <laughs> and so you can look that up if you're interested. Um, so my daughter, like making cookies, this is like uh, um, us doing our hair masks and things together. Um, more Christmas celebrations like out in the town when they have Christmas lights in town and lots of things to see all the time Like Christmas is obviously a huge deal in Italy. So we're out and about um, And my daughter really loves this her little plushy bear. She like carries it everywhere with her um, my son trying to exercise and This is just an illustration that I did a while back that I wanted to like use these papers It must have been um, the little windmill things in the town next to us and um, so we had like a COVID scare in December when my daughter was sick, but she was not positive. Um, so that was okay. And then autumn bucket list printable that's from Wild Paper Studio. Um, and just like this really picturesque autumn photo that I wanted to capture in a local park. Um, so at the beach in the winter, like we often go to the beach in the winter time, obviously not to like, you know, play necessarily in the traditional sense, but, but it's just so beautiful and calm and, you know, fresh air kind of thing. So we often go um, more selfie. And then this printable, I believe, is from My Life Knits. Um, and this was like a sort of vision board um, thingy that I did that I stuck in here after I'd finished, um, like after I had taken it out of my planner after 2021 was over. Um, these were the No War Ukraine stickers that obviously was in 2022, um, but I had this final page, so I, just, I wanted to stick them in here. And these are just like random quotes that I wrote. Um, 
Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better, Maya Angelou. The master said to learn and then at the appropriate time put into practice what you have learned. Is this not a pleasure? To have friends arrive from afar, is this not a joy? To be patient even when others do not understand, is this not the way of an accomplished person? Analects 1.1. So I've been trying to like learn more about Chinese philosophy and and like I am you know ethnically Chinese but I grew up in Southern California and very westernized you know culture growing up and, and obviously like English is my first language even though I talk to you know my mom in Cantonese but um, I feel like I don't know a lot about my own culture um, so I always try to learn as much as I can um, this is Rene Descartes whereas I doubt therefore I am um, or what is the same, I think, therefore I am. Um, like the Latin translate, like if you translate it from Latin and just sort of notes from things. And that is it for 2021. So you can see that it's not very complete in terms of like, you know, representing a whole year. It's just sort of snippets of whenever it is I felt like journaling or had like a photo or something to include. Um, but it was just a sort of crazy year as I am. It is like, I'm sure it was for many people, you know, so it was just very neither here nor there. Um, but I'm just gonna consider this done because I need to move on. Um, I'm almost caught up in my new um, 2022 daily journaling, which I don't necessarily journal daily, but it is dated um, daily so that at least there are some chronology in order to it and mostly daily journaling. Also because I eliminated the separation um, that I used to do where I would have like 10 different journals and like one is for just writing, one is for morning pages, one is for this and one is for that. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just wanted to try a year of like just having one. And of course I still have lots of other journals that I can go to, but having that one to be like, let me just put everything in there and not pressure myself to have to like do 10 different things. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So that is my 2021 journal flip through. Thanks so much for um, sticking to it all the way here and let me know if you have any tips or tricks about journaling or um, if you have printables that you would like to share because I'm a huge fan of printables. I design them um, and share them on my blog as well as have a Patreon. Um, but I also love, you know, using other people's um, printables. They're just so cool and um, all you need is like a printer at home and you can do so much. Um, so that's it for me. Thanks so much.